Hello, good morning everybody. Welcome to your morning highlight. So super, super excited. It's already started. We've got the lovely Andrew up in the gallery directing us. I'm joined this morning by Becky Hi. and David. Um, Hi Becky isn't, um, isn't normally somebody you would see this side of the camera. She would <laughs> normally be up in our graphics department, but I thought it was really interesting to have her join us today because we are now working on just literally the last finishing touches of the last digital magazine for Tattered Lace for this year. Yep, it's very nearly done, just a few days away from deadline and, and it'll be done, last one. Wow, so exciting. So, and David, we've got some really, I mean, you're so, super in the Christmas spirit. Look <laughs> well, at that. I am today, definitely. Look I mean, at that t-shirt, jumper. I'm uh, one for a gayest Christmas shirt, yes. I don't actually own a jumper. I could, well, I did, but it doesn't fit anymore. So. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either gone in the wash or last Christmas I ate too much. I don't know. <laughs> well, we've got a lot coming up for you. So first of all, um, we've got probably the most exciting announcement that we could have for the rest of this year and for all of next year. I'm really, really, really super exciting about the future. So let's tell us a little bit about, or tell you a little bit about your morning highlight. Um, first of all, it's our chance to be able to tell you a little bit of gossip, for you guys to join in, for us to, we're having um, upcoming shows. We're gonna tell you a little hints and tips of anything that we've got that we think might be interesting. We're gonna talk about new products. We're gonna talk about a bit of gossip. Um, good morning to all of you joining us. Thank you so much for being here. I'm gonna let you into a few little secrets as well. Oh, you know what, we might as just well. Let's Look, just we're not posh. <laughs> this, this isn't Phil and Holly. This is their Definitely namesakes. <laughs> um, I am in my slippers. Um, luckily, I, I had a bit of a disaster over the weekend because, first of all, I got back from I got back from Peterborough late Friday night and could Saturday could not find my hairbrush. In fact, I haven't been able to find it all weekend. And um, so I've relied on washing my hair and using conditioner to try and just make it straight. But then it, it appeared this morning, so absolutely, it was in the back of the car. Um, so, yeah, you get what you see here and we just tell it like it is. So we've got loads of stuff coming up. So let's take a little look at what we have got. So here you can see a little idea of some of the things that we're going to be talking about. David, you're going to be um, talking about Minecraft Studio. I am indeed. We've got loads coming up with Minecraft Studio, something new and exciting as well. What we've been doing with it. Well, we've got our Academy update. We've also got a little section. We're going to be talking about Christmas disasters. If you've got one you'd like to share with us, then please email us. We've got a very, very, very important announcement that I think as soon as we make that announcement, social media will go <laughs> crazy. Indeed. And we've also got our recipe of the month, which is for sausage rolls. And we're actually going to have a sausage roll tasting. Now, I've got um, a bit of an advantage because I'm the one that did the baking. <laughs> so I went out there and, and bought a very, very, very well-known high street brand, which we'll talk about. We've got vegan, we've got meat, and then we've got homemade and the recipe that you're going to be sharing. So um, send us your Christmas disaster stories. It's studio at highlightcrafts.com. And we'd also like to see your makes and any pictures. Please, um, <laughs> <laughs> please send those in too. Let's see if I've written them all upside down. <laughs> right, so let's talk about what's going on in the crafty world. world. So first of all, um, well, lovely Amanda's at TV at the moment. She's at Create and Craft. Yes. And I'm going to be there Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. And there the day after Boxing Day. And the right? day after. And you're joining as well. You're coming over then, aren't you? I am, yes. So I'm there on the 27th and the 28th. So I'll be still, my Christmas dinner will be going down. <laughs> I'll be down to Peterborough. But I'm excited. I'm really looking forward to it. It's going to be an amazing show. And I'm, I don't know if I can share, we've got some amazing prices too. Oh, gosh, yeah. yeah. We're actually, we're knocking the prices down as low as we can possibly get them. So um, which camera are we looking at? <laughs> Are we supposed to be looking at a camera? <laughs> I 
I was looking at the sausage rolls over there. <laughs> oh, my God, nothing, can, well, nothing changes, does it? You should have seen us all this morning. Oh, we're, we're ready for Christmas. Um, Becky hasn't worn an earpiece before. So she <laughs> was... <laughs> Just listen to Andrew in my ear and listen to you. And it's all a bit... <laughs> Does it sound a bit too yeah. much? No, I mean, no, I mean, Andrew, that's, that's a di- do that on a daily basis. So, um, on... No, I haven't got I haven't got a show on Christmas Eve. No, I've got my shows on Boxing Day. So Boxing Day, oh my God. Christmas, is... all the days just blur into one, don't they? Um, well, I they always actually, get like that. They do. It's going really well, this, isn't it? I'm having my first Christmas dinner on the 23rd. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Yes, wow. so we've got, uh, I've got the grandchildren come in. And you know, last night, because I've had, I've had a bit, uh, I've had a bit of that bug that's going around this weekend. But last night, I thought I've got to pull myself together, start doing some wrapping. So I said, I'm there wrapping these presents, waiting for the sausage rolls to cook. And I said to Carl, "Where's all this lot come from?" And he said, "That's called a bottle of wine and an iPad." <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean to buy all. This. Oh, That's like the opposite to me with a bottle of wine and an iPad is that I thought I'd order it and I'm going, where is everything? <laughs> <laughs> opposite ends of the wine drink. <laughs> oh, I read about a lady. Um, this is this was in the news this week. I don't know if any of you guys saw it. I um, I read um, in the news and I so, so could relate to this. A lady that filled her shopping basket for a supermarket shop with all the things she would really like to have at Christmas. But she was then going to talk to her husband about what they actually needed. Only she forgot to have the conversation. So when it turned up, it was massive. <laughs> and I just, seriously, that's the, that's the kind of stuff that, um, that happens, isn't yeah. it? What's your worst shopping disaster? Worst shopping disaster? It's probably being able to find the car on the way back. I was actually going to Meadow Hall in Sheffield. Humongous car park. Yeah, it's Christmas isn't. shopping. Obviously, I didn't order everything needed online. Walking round, it took me about 45 minutes to remember where I parked. And it's like walking three lengths of a football pitch, bags, snow, ice, slipping everywhere, <laughs> not equipped, busiest ever. Um, probably one of the worst shopping experiences. It was so stressful to even get everything I needed. I once came out of MS at Meadow Hall and walked out, opened the back of the car, put the shopping in, opened the front, got in, and this guy said to me, Where would you like to go? And Carl was behind. I got in the wrong car. You know, I was like, and I, I was, couldn't wait to get out. I was like, My shopping, my shopping. I actually put the shopping in. But to be fair, it was the colour, it was identical. And it was actually the it, same colour, same model, same make. I mean, come on. Well, <laughs> they just let you walk with that. <laughs> if you think that's bad, my mum had all her f- Christmas food shopping in the car, broke down in the middle of the road. <laughs> Fortunately, the neighbour, the, the next car behind was the next door neighbour and said, oh, Helen, let me give you a lift, let me take you home. She was like, thank goodness, thank She went, where do you live? <laughs> she lived next door. <laughs> I think Christmas just got a bit stressful. Like, yeah. Oh, that's just, the, you know, that's life. Um, it's almost 2023. What has happened there? Let's, so let's talk about some of the product things that we've got coming up for you. Um, among the forest floor is going to be our first web exclusive and that's on the 10th of January and it's real quite a small little kit um, but budgeted for everybody but super super cute then we and you're getting seven dies in that collection then the next one we've got is called hillside hideaway coming to create and craft Right now, oh gosh, I so want to let out my secret, but we've got to wait. We've got to wait. <laughs> um, but there's a secret attached to that one. Then the next one that we've got coming up is Quirky Bird. Oh now, oh gosh, this is the Fairy Godmother collection. That Fairy Godmother is so going to be me in five years' time. <laughs> I am going Amanda to have... says it's already her. <laughs> the blue hair. No, Amanda's been going to the gym. She's lost loads of weight. That, that's me. That's absolutely me. And then we've got My Craft Studio. Ooh. So, scene building seven and eight. So, what can we expect from My Craft Studio next year, David? So, within this one, we're going into the development of My Craft Studio and the next step. Of course, we have so many beautiful collections that we've brought to you this year and previous. And now it's sort of building those next footsteps within the collections. And you've seen some beautiful elements 
that have been incorporated within these kits. Um, and it's all about that journey with this, because of course it all corresponds to Two Red Robins as well. Um, so it's stuff that you've not seen before um, that you can actually use in a digital format as well, which I think is really, really exciting. Well, um, I just want to show you something that I've got coming up because this one is actually, it's before those because this one's actually Boxing Day. And I need to say thank you to Steve for these and all our, all our DT. They're all amazing, but I yeah. picked these two to just show you. Look at this. These are, I mean, this is going to be our collection for Boxing Day because remember, we're going into the cottage gardens next year. So we go, the, the robins have got a little bit braver. You still know humans, but these are the little animals. They're going back in there to see their friends. And this is one of the dyes. And I'm just going to show you this next one because this is shows you, again, opening up the door to their what is going to be a fabulous collection so we're going into the garden and we're going through the gates and that magic that you see the other side of it so i'm super excited about this and do you know what i'm really oh, this is this is i'm gonna this is gonna make me smile so i'm on at 11 o'clock on boxing day and i spoke to um our lovely buyer michelle rolson and said to her can you just confirm what time my show is please thinking please please don't let it be seven o'clock or don't let it be eight o'clock please 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 well it would be unfair of me to feel so happy about being slightly later if i didn't give the lovely dawn bibby a plug for being so early <laughs> so she's got the early shift <laughs> so Dawn, oh my gosh, you are a superstar picking up that early shift. Thank you, thank you. I I actually don't need to be there on air until 11. Right, we've had a shopping disaster email. And so here we go. So this is the disaster. My disaster was I ordered what I thought was a kilo of, <laughs> a kilo of carrots in my online order and I got one. Could you imagine? <laughs> that's not that's gonna sniffing. be quite enough, is it? <laughs> can, can you imagine that if you were the person picking that order, <laughs> pick like, one Are you sure this is one right? Carrots. <laughs> Could be worse, could have been a kilo of peas. <laughs> one pea. <laughs> one pea. <laughs> Keep sending them in everybody. It's great fun to share them. So um right now Let's talk um, a little bit more about Minecraft Studio because we we are having quite a lot of questions about are we bringing out Minecraft Studio for Mac? Well, first of all, let me share this with you. So it took us um, two years to develop Minecraft Studio. So what I can tell you is any new developments won't be in January. <laughs> so that's the first thing. It's something that we have got a workaround for in the short term and we are looking at long-term plans for Minecraft Studio. So it isn't something that is really quick to do because there's so much coding and testing and coding and testing. Um, the, the workaround, we, we've been asked if we can actually show you what that looks like. We're looking into all sorts of different things. In fact, you're filming some more um, video. This You're doing another education mm. USB this afternoon, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, we are, which is really exciting as well, because that then is now the next step. Of course, you've had your educational USBs in with Dan previous, but now this is, of course, the second journey within that. And it can be um, exploring layering techniques, something different to what you typically may have done with Minecraft Studio, which I think is lovely because we talk about Minecraft Studio in a sense of its history. Um, of course, almost 15 years ago when it first launched and we're still discovering new things to do with it. Um, Absolutely. And I think that's what's so important is that you've got a product there that's constantly evolving um, and you can evolve with it as well. But we're filming that today um, and I've got some lovely papers that I've been designing for it. So taking it from different genres within craft, um, so, of course, if you come from a soft craft background, whether you like to work with surface pattern um, or whether it's rice paper designs or it could be absolutely anything within craft, 
um, you can apply it to that, which I think then means it has its own little space in everybody's craft stash, no matter where you come from within craft. And David, you've discovered, well, we've been working on some new product development. So we've got some very, very exciting things that are new to the craft industry. Yeah. And one of the things that David's been working on to take rice papers to the next level. Yes. Do you want to talk about that? I know it's a bit of a secret, but let's, let's tell. Okay, so rice paper, I mean, for me, is it's an indulgence. I absolutely indulge within rice paper. But taking rice papers into, let's say, an elevated step um, would give you a foiled effect, okay? And that's just something I've been working on for quite a while is to actually be able to achieve this. Um, and when working with these papers to get that foiled yeah. finish is really tricky, but we've managed to make it so that now it's instant for you. Um, and it's so effective, it's so achievable for absolutely everybody. And I think you heard me scream from the other side of the <laughs> office <laughs> when I did it. And you know, it actually generated from a conversation we were having when I instantly just thought, that's the way to do it. That's the way we, I needed to try it. And we've been working, yeah. of course, with Cadence um, and they've allowed us to... Well, well they've developed the yeah. product for us. It's, so it's going to yeah. be... It, it won't be long before you, we've got that in your hands for you. So it's quite exciting. And yeah. then there are some other really big developments. But we're under what we call an NDA. So that's a non-disclosure agreement. And actually, it is more than... I, I can keep secrets. I know I, I look <laughs> like I can't, but I can. Um, really can't share that one yet. But you can keep watching and that will come... That actually will um, come to fruition next year then um the other thing that we need to share with you just to cover off the thing with the mac is i think we could set up david in the new year so we actually do a recorded yeah. video of how do we do it yeah i think that'd be really because of course we've got max here yeah we have max here and it's questions we get asked of quite frequently so i think of course it'll it'll be great for a lot of a lot of you at home yeah, yeah. Abs absolutely right so um, we've got a question, and Den, okay, so Den would like to know if we can do more demos on my craft studio. So let's let's just have a lead this into Academy, and we'll come back to my craft studio as well. Mm. Um, so we've got this, uh, and this for me is my, is my career dream. So we are in the process of putting together our academy. Now, by putting together, um, that's going to involve us building some walls. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not just uh, putting together. Find my piece. hard hat. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just putting it together on a piece of paper. David and I are in the detail. We're choosing yes. the furniture. We'll go out and pick the nice fancy bits. <laughs> so, <laughs> Which bits to paint? <laughs> yeah, so we're picking all the nice stuff. Um, and what we will have here is we will have three teaching areas. We'll have one for mixed media and wet craft, one for paper craft and dry craft, and another one for soft crafts. And imagine that you could send us the design and Becky or one of the team would be able to put that into a pattern for you. And when you got here, the fabric's printing off the machine for you to work with. I mean, that's it's so pretty- exciting. Like it, just for me to be able to do that myself and I work here, like that's just, yeah, that would just be amazing. I've been walking around the house going, we could do this I'm gonna this. take classes, Andrew. <laughs> I, 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 I won't believe him. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all gonna be on classes too, which is great. And, we'll be t and we've got lots of fabulous tutors lined up. What we're doing in, and we're linking this to our free monthly classes. So you guys know I do a painting class. We're gonna start doing an MCS class. Yes. We are gonna be having a scan and cut class and Amanda is gonna do Amanda's Flower Club. So we're gonna have four fabulous free classes every month for you. Then um, in January, we are literally the first week of January going to be announcing the first dates where we're, well, I'm telling you on time. <laughs> I just haven't given you the dates, um, but we will be emailing out. So prior to our big room sets being ready, we're actually setting up a studio for us to train in and we're going to be doing some VIP classes. So they'll be quite small in terms of the number of people in them, very intimate, but that's a great opportunity for the people that like to learn on a one-to-one -one basis. So make sure you're on our database because that's where we'll go out first with all the details. Oh, and while I'm on, um, I'm on about it, please also 
message in if anybody wants free tickets to Sandown. I've said it, I've done it. There you go. Anybody watching who wants free tickets to Sandown. I jump on um, that straight away. <laughs> email. Um, I bet you should. No, no. Well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just trying to think who's inbox. I should email just, me. <laughs> um, email me. Info, info uh, that's it, info at highlightcrafts.com. Um, right, David, you designed a Christmas card for us. I did. I want to see it. Yes. <laughs> okay, so this is, I've gone on Minecraft Studio this year, I really have, and it's been something um, I've thoroughly loved doing. Now, this is a Christmas card that was designed from the Design Your Own Rice Papers Christmas USB. Um, so you can see on here, using a multiple selection of the florals, the foliage, and actually um, some real digital manipulation in here to create something from almost nothing of a background. And so this is a card um, that I love doing and I'd like to share it with everybody as well. So we'll be sending this one out, won't we? So we're actually going to email everybody who is part of our, um, anybody that we can't, we touch, we're gonna send you our Christmas card. And um, Becky, do you think we could, have we got, by the end of the week, do you think we could do that as a step-by-step -step for everybody? This card? Yes. Yeah, easy. Yeah, yeah that'd be fine. You can do that. There you go. So you're going to get the project as well. So, David, why did you choose MCS this year? Well, of course, as you know, um, a lot of you may have seen on Crate and Craft recently, been doing a lot of the Crate and Craft Minecraft Studio shows, um, along with Dan as well. Um, and throughout doing those shows, I learned stuff that I never actually knew existed. Um, and being able to use the USBs, um, to create not only rice paper designs and surface pattern, um, as well as card making, which was something I had originally um, wasn't my grassroots of craft, um, meant that I could really explore and have fun with it. And when I started playing with the files and the way that it could work, I instantly realized that I'd got everything I could ever want um, right in front of me in terms of being able to make my own cards. And I thought, what, what better way to do it? And it's, it was a, a beautiful experience to do. I absolutely love doing it, but at the same time, um, I thought, what a great way to share that with everybody else. But going to Minecraft Studio, I mean, I've used it within Christmas cards with photographs as well. So, of course, if you were to do this digitally, you could put in your own personal. Maybe you do a family Christmas photo as well. And mm -hmm. that could go on the inside of here as a reveal. Or, of course, you could incorporate your own imagery into it. So, um, for me, I've been doing this because it's just allowed me to have so much more freedom within crafting. You've got no restrictions. So, what we're going to do is we're having a fuddle. Does <laughs> everybody <laughs> says, yeah, everybody is like... What's the fuddle? I've never heard of the word fuddle I before I've I came to work here. Really? No. Andrew didn't know what one is. Have you never heard I, of before a Before I came to work here, I'd never heard of the I word I thought fuddle. someone said cuddle and I was like, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then I was like, oh, fuddle. Is <laughs> it a funny cuddle? <laughs> so um, what it is, is um, I don't know whether, well, email in if you've ever heard of fuddles. So what we've, what we've got is everybody brings something to work to eat. So we all bring, and you do a, a, a list of all the things. So somebody goes around and says, right, I'll bring crisps and I'll make sandwiches and I'll bring pop. And so everybody does something. Can we have like a buffet? And the fuddle bit is that it's all just yeah. a fuddle. Yeah. And so while we're having our fuddle, we're going to take some pictures yes. yeah. and we're going to put them inside our Christmas card. Yeah. So we thought that that would be just a bit of fun for you guys to see some of the team and just a little bit of yeah. what goes on here and who makes what and who brings what. So Jess was actually going to do some sandwiches, but then her car broke down. So I think we've got the contents of her fridge. Oh, Could do we be believe dodgy. her? Do we believe her? I do it really <laughs> I'm not sure. I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, talking about cooking, yesterday when I was doing the sausage rolls, I was making, I wanted to make potato croquettes. Ooh. And if you, if you, to get the potato really fluffy, if you cook a jacket, so you cook the potato as a jacket potato, take the inside out and mash that. That gives you the best mash ever. Oh. But not if the potatoes are cold. <laughs> I actually ended up having 20 jacket potatoes that ended up at the biggest, gloopiest mess you've ever... It was disgusting. <laughs> it was... You can't, I, I had to Google it. You can't... You cannot mash cold potato. What it it changes the, what it No, do? what happens is it changes the chemicals in the potato and it goes really starchy and slippery and just not nice. It's glue, doesn't it? It's... Yeah, it's weird potatoes. 
Yeah, it is. It goes like glue. Yeah. You're right. It does. I was with the masher going. What? Twenty potatoes. What? Twenty. You could have bought them. Um, in. We need a few new door stops around the place. <laughs> <laughs> we could have Sorry. used it for paper mache takeaway. Oh, yeah. I hate talking uh, about that. Um, Christmas disasters. Then. Oh, oh no. Oh, oh, where to got, start? You have to have a story, David. You've always got a story. I don't know one, which one One day, take. when you've worked up to it, and everybody knows you're a bit better, I'm going to ask him to tell you his guinea pig story. <laughs> guinea pig David. story. And how I acquired her. Yeah. <laughs> well, um, well, 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 that's the next chapter. Andrew just said, oh, no, not the guinea pig story. Go no, I think Andrew has had to be witness to every time it's been told. I think he feels oh. like he was there. <laughs> Okay, so tell us your your Christmas disaster. Okay, so there was last Christmas actually was yeah. was a fun one, and I was speaking to my mum about this, um, and it was Christmas Day at my mum's house. But her it was her first Christmas at her new house, and she really wanted to host. So I had it in her conservatory, and she bought a brand new dining table. It was lovely. We could all get around all the family together, and she'd saved up for this dining table. It's lovely and a big oak top, and she dressed it all with my grandma's table dressings because we always use my grandma's oh. and. Uh, <laughs> My granddad's not watching that till now. <laughs> um, and so it came to the end of the night, which really like me and my partner were still there. Everyone else had gone home, or a few in bed. And we were sat having a drink on the sofa. And of course, the patio doors you can see into the conservatory of us are slightly in the windows. And I said to mum, I was like, I don't remember there being a tree in there. And she was like, what? What are you talking about? I said, I can see the lights. <laughs> The whole table was on fire. <gasps> no! We'd left the in the centre of the table, the candelabra had two candlesticks, and at the base of the candlesticks were like little wreaths. And oh, they were like, they were really old fashioned ones. Oh, well, your grandma's. There's quite, we've got quite a lot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and literally, the table is now like um, shabby chic. <laughs> <laughs> and it just has this big st <laughs> you didn't oh, like that. Yeah. Well, exactly. it aged it but then the conservative the next month we just sort of we sorted it all out my mum threw a glass of wine on it which wasn't <laughs> the best thing to do I was like oh my goodness um, in fact I'll share a photo I still have the lace cloth that runs through the centre it just got a hole in the middle um, but that was quite interesting. The next day, I went to the conservatory in the daylight, and the ceiling was just black. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, but that's one of many. <laughs> well, Carl's mum, um, bless her, she's not with us anymore, but when they were, um, oh, God, it must have been a long time ago, they had one of the first microwaves that you could get, and they got it a Christmas present and um, got the microwave, and... And so Carl's mum decided to cook the Christmas pudding in the microwave. <laughs> Christmas, Christmas pudding got on fire. Carl grabbed the microwave and threw it in the garden. So it was the first and last time. It was just a, what do I do with this? Could you just Literally. imagine not seeing yes, a <laughs> like pudding fly out of our house? I'm looking over the garden fence, the neighbours. <laughs> Quickly come here, there's puddings flying out of this house. Catch one. <laughs> what have you got a disaster, Becky? I don't know if we've necessarily got any disasters. The only one that I can think of is the very chaotic Christmas we had once. When, and it's quite a heartwarming story as well because my mum um, and dad ended up kind of fostering um, a little girl one year. And it, was a, it was a friend of... Um, well, it, it was someone who basically just came in to where um, my dad works because um, my dad used to work at a leisure centre and it was just one of the regulars and she had to go into hospital um, oh. and she had four kids so we ended up looking after one of her kids for like nine months but oh when it came gosh. to Christmas my mum just couldn't bear the thought of all the children not being together so my mum was like right we'll have them all we'll have <laughs> them all at our house so we had all these four children and then the mum was able to come out of hospital for the day so we had five extra people on top of the 15 people that we already had for oh christmas word. dinner and it was just like the, the children were young and it was just absolute Oh, we, had, we had tables just set up in uh, every room. I bet you only had one carrot each. Only <laughs> <laughs> one carrot got delivered. Oh, and it was that's just, so, so yeah, lovely. It was, it's a lovely story, but it, I just remember oh, it being absolutely hectic. There was just stuff everywhere. There was like, yeah, people got yeah one carrot, one sprout, <laughs> like <laughs> a teaspoon of mashed potato. <laughs> 
I once um, went to a dinner party and thought that they'd bought the vegetables out. Uh, this is at somebody's house a long, long time ago in a previous life. Thought they'd put the vegetables out as individual servings. So got my carrots and my sprouts and then realised it was for everybody. So I don't want some back. <laughs> oh, sorry, did you want some? <laughs> like, counting. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew's just told me his. He said his old dog, Sparky, ate, ate the entire turkey crown and it was the only meat they had. They'd saved up for it and the dog ate it. <laughs> just... <laughs> what, what oh. dog ate. I think my sister's red setter once had a whole chicken. Um, anyway, you can see we've all had some really interesting exciting things happen at Christmas. Who knows what will happen? We may have more stories for you in yeah, January. Give it a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, right. So, um, Minecraft Studio. So, we're going to... David, when have we got um, shows? What are we going to so, expect from Minecraft Studio? So, straight into January, um, we're going in with a new collection, of course, incorporating uh, Two Red Robins, and also throughout into January, we were doing um, the next step within designing your own rice papers with Minecraft Studio. Um, and that's something that I've had um, a lot of feedback from from yourselves, which I know you've absolutely loved. Um, and I thought we'd, we'd do something different with it because, of course, there's so many genres within that sort of theme, but Minecraft Studio, you building your own rice papers really is everything you could ever wish for when you're thinking about designs. Um, so that's where we're going to be taking it in, into January, which is really exciting. We're doing loads of videos and lots of demonstrations as well to share with them something to suit everybody um, at the same time, which I think is great because everyone will be then incorporated into that. But there's there's lots of plans coming up. So super, super exciting. Um, OK, so a couple of questions about the Academy. The first one, <laughs> are we going to be doing Cadence products on some of our retreats? Do you want to answer that, <laughs> yes. David? <laughs> well, they'll have to say yes. <laughs> yes, we are. We are indeed. Um, I can't wait. I am so excited for this. It's, it's going to be just the most enjoyable, um, educational, but fun experience um, for everyone to join in with. And there's so much to be explored within Cadence. I think we've probably touched on about 2% of what they can I, I agree. Offer. It's, it's amazing. Absolutely. So we're going to be bringing in some of the pieces that um, they use in the academy. So some of the plaster pieces. So we're going to be taking, um, I don't know, an ornament and making it look like something completely different. I mean, some really, really exciting stuff. And we'll start, um, I'll tell you what we'll do in January. We'll show you some of the pictures of some of the projects. So you get an idea of what's happening, but absolutely. And just talking about the academy, we're going to be doing everything from a one hour class to, so in a day, there might be four different one hour classes. So if you're traveling, you might want to come and do more than one of them. You can come for half a day, a full day, a weekend. And we actually, a couple of times in the year, we're even gonna do a full week. So where you go from start to finish. We've linked up with the local tourist board. We've got some great little B&Bs around here. We've got um, the train station is only literally six miles away. That, and yeah. yeah, so we've got, you know, there's lots and lots of lovely reasons for you guys to come and see us. OK, so um, we are going to do our announcement. <laughs> OK, now I never in a month of Sundays after all the things um, that have happened this year, and particularly with Two Red Robins, thought that this person would be able to come and work with us. And, but her circumstances have changed. Her family are, or her family circumstances are completely different to where they were even a year ago, to, uh, definitely two years ago. Um, and so, uh, do you know what? I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to let you watch this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Hannah Stone and I'm so excited to announce I'm joining the Highlight Crafts family. 
So I started with the craft industry uh, about 10 years ago now as a buyer. So I used to travel the world, finding exciting things, being to various shopping channels. And it was there I developed my love for all things in detail, elements, embellishments, all little bits that you can add to your crafting to really bring it to life. From there, as you probably know, I've been involved on the television side, demonstrating for various companies. And now I'm really, really excited to be joining the team at High Night Crafts. I think the reason I'm most excited, one thing is it's gonna work around my family, which I think is just the most important thing, but also the education side of it, the customer focused side of it as well. Being able to get into that classroom, uh, onto the TV, onto those things to bring you that education, to bring you the stories around the different collections we do is something I'm really looking forward to doing. The opportunity of working with Highlight Crafts is something I really, really cherish. The fact that the team are so family orientated really ticks my boxes. Of course, my boys and my babies, they are first and foremost in my life. And being involved in a role that is suited to work around them is so key. And I'm just delighted to be able to do that and also take them on this journey with me as well. So guys, um, super, super excited. Hannah's joining us from January and we're going to love watching those two little boys grow up and be part of our family and our journey. Um, talking about children, what's Bee up to at the moment? Has she uh, had a school play yet? Yes, yeah, so she was in the nativity uh, last Wednesday. Um, she only had one line um, to deliver, but she, she delivered that line very, very and well. And what was her line? Um, she had to say, wait for us, we're coming too. <laughs> had she practised? She, she practised it loads and she shouted it at the top of her voice so <laughs> everyone could hear her. <clears throat> yeah, she was really good. <laughs> Becky has got two absolutely adorable children and um, B, who is their eldest, yeah. is just, she is just... Oh, she's a little darling and she's got so much a uh, personality, yeah, isn't no, it? She's... Even from being a baby. Yeah, she's really smart, she's really clever, she's really confident. Like she just she'll talk to anyone, she loves being around people. She's really comfortable with older people. Yeah. Like and I just think that's because she, she just loves talking to people. So she, she gets more conversation out of adults than she does other children. So yeah. she just she just loves being around people and um, what are they expecting on christmas uh, how's the how's the christmas shopping going with santa um well she keeps changing her mind with what she wants <laughs> so she might not necessarily expect get what she's asked for this week <laughs> on christmas day does it change I'm every day <laughs> pretty much yeah but i'm sure she'll be happy with it uh, oh. well with you what see, she santa, gets from santa well <laughs> santa actually he has to do all his shopping ahead because with all the postal strikes oh, he can't get everything delivered can he, and what is he gonna do? um well, so um, hannah is going to be our ambassador for our brand manager for to Red Robins. So I'm going to be working really closely with her and I'm super excited about it because we've got some big plans for the brand this year and we're going to see us moving into slightly different genres but a lot of storytelling which I think is going to be the fun part of it. So you will see her on Crate and Craft, you'll see her on loads of content. She is the most fabulous crafter who is at heart an educator and wants to share. So that is going to be really yeah. good. She'll be a great asset to the team. So we're really super excited about it. Right. So sausage rolls. I know we've been <laughs> so so just um, to explain to you. Um, Diane was going to be with us this morning, but unfortunately, Diane's not very well. And so we'd got sort of a, everybody in the team you're going to get to meet at some point. So Becky wasn't going to be here for another couple of months. But I messaged her last night and said, um, how are you fixed for tomorrow? And she said, oh, yeah, absolutely. I love sausage rolls. <laughs> and you've made us here for a for an <laughs> you, Yeah, I look, so I know how to get you here. Right, so on the plate we have, so... Um, for those of you, I think the most famous sausage rolls 
in this country. I'm going to say this. I don't know if you guys disagree, then email us. But I think the most famous sausage rolls are probably Greg's. Probably, yeah. Would you? Yeah. Well, did you know you can buy Greg's sausage rolls to bake at home? Can you? I didn't know that. No. Did you not know that? No. That's oh, probably shouldn't have told yeah. me that. <laughs> okay, so Iceland sell Greg's. They have a franchise and they sell Greg's sausage rolls what? to bake at home. So we have two varieties of Greg's. We have their vegan and we have their regular. Okay. And then we have some some of um, the recipe that's actually here. Now, you've got to guess which one's which. Okay. And you've got to decide which is your favourite. <laughs> Ladies first. <laughs> right, okay. Okay, right, we'll I, think, I think I'm... All right, we'll go for this one first then. I'll go for this one first. I'm definitely not having one of those. <laughs> okay, well, I think you've just given it away then. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, you like them? Mmm. <laughs> 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 I think it's the... Do you know it's, it's the pastry that's not... It tastes like stuffing, and I love stuffing. Yeah? Mm. Mm. It tastes good. Mm. Does it taste of meat? No. <laughs> <laughs> Something's missing. The <laughs> <A> pig. <laughs> pig for me. <laughs> Would you eat it again? Um, I've not got time today. Um, <laughs> but. If you want to leave one um, round the back corner, there's a little... <laughs> I'm just really busy. Um, no, I would do. They're beautiful. No, the, past the pastry is not flaky enough. Right. What about one of the next ones? How many can you manage in five minutes? Mm. <laughs> you really liked it. Like it then. <laughs> I'll finish it. <laughs> Oh, this one. Okay, I'm gonna follow suit. Have you had one of you've had one of these? I've had them. Yeah, I'm gonna have one of these. Mmm. Mmm. Andrew <laughs> Andrew said as long as one of you's talking it's fine, we're all just stuffing <laughs> our faces. Sorry. Sorry everyone. I'm gonna taste test that one. Mm. That's definitely meat. I'm guessing the first one was vegan. It was, Absolutely. yeah. I mean, you can tell by yeah. looking at it. This really. one is definitely going to be an incredible homemade. Mm. Yeah, these look good. I like I'm going to get flakes of pastry everywhere. <laughs> I'm going to send the cleaners in here. <laughs> right, let's put the recipe up. Mmm. Mmm, yeah, that's good. Okay, that homemade one was incredible. Well, let, let me let me um, let you into a secret. It's just a very so, flaky thing to eat. Yeah, <laughs> it's like it's snowing in here, so it's... it looks like snow, doesn't it? Um, so when I was baking them, I looked at the size of the Greg's ones. I thought, Do you know, what? I'm going to go big. Mm. Because mm -hmm. if I make mine bigger, they'll look nicer. <laughs> well, they definitely taste incredible. Yeah, no. yeah. That's a recipe I will be following. Absolutely. And do you know what it is? You take a tiny little bit of pate All right. and smear it on the on the pastry before you put the sausage meat in. Oh, nice. Oh, lovely. Um, right. That's yeah. Absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Good. No, oh, there. Okay. Um, oh dear, we've got there we've got people emailing in about pictures of our sausage rolls. I'd like to just apologise for the, the minute of probably the worst <laughs> time ever of listening to me like a washing machine <laughs> of a sausage roll. Can you actually hear us? I don't know. Eating. I can't oh, hear yes. anything, but I don't know if anyone else can. <laughs> right. Right, so... Coming up to Christmas, mm -hmm. all about guilty prayers. Here you go, Becky. <laughs> While I finish eating. Okay, so we went round, uh, Andrew went round the office the other day and took a list of um, everyone's guilty pleasures. So Andrew's are sausage rolls. Mm -hmm. um, we've got Lauren who said donuts and um, chocolate 
um, eclairs. Uh, Amanda is pork scratchings. Oh my God, pork That's scratching. That's a real deal, I'm, just I'm, 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 I'm guessing you feel bad about eating it. Is that what, yeah. I'm sorry, that's not on my we, list of pleasures. And there was like a little hairs on it. There was little hairs on it. Oh, I know. <laughs> I was like, and they get stuck between your teeth. <laughs> oh, they're disgusting. Oh, no. Um, <laughs> no, no, Ash, no. Ash, I love the chocolate biscuit. Um, Bev just put Greg's. Anything. Anything oh, from Greg's. Greg's. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, Kitty is all about the pork pies. Uh, and then I've got mine on here next is crisp sandwich. Ooh. Oh, gosh, and I've not had a crisp sandwich for years. Oh, I have one every Sunday evening. Do you? I love every crisp Sunday? Sandwich. Yeah, because we always have a big Sunday dinner on, mm. like, on, a, on a Sunday, like in the middle of the day. So on a Sunday evening, I don't need... You, don't, I, I don't you just want any, a snack? Something, something to keep you going. Just snack. So just, yeah, it's always a crisp sandwich. What flavour crisps? Um, usually um, cheese and onion. Mm. Like, sm- it's a good smellier, shout. smellier the better. Oh yeah. gosh! Anybody else love Chris sandwiches? Love David, sandwich. you are covered in crumbs. I, I must no, have fallen on the ceiling. <laughs> it wasn't not that messy. Like, what, was that, what, what kind of bread? Sorry. Just just normal bread, but just loads of butter on the bread. Oh yeah. Well. Mm. Lots of butter. Ooh, uh, sounds we've nice. Got Christine and Shirley have just said chocolate, some treacle on toast. Oh, treacle, treacle on toast. That actually yeah, sounds quite nice. nice. Mm. Uh, Sophie's also <laughs> said a crisp sandwich. And then John said a metre long French stick. <laughs> <laughs> Who said just that? John, just <laughs> what? What without no, any? Like a, like just a big like a baguette. Stick, a big baguette. <laughs> oh. It. I was not expecting that. I don't know what I expected John's guilty pleasure to be, but not that. Just I wouldn't feel bad just about eating that. Baguette. In one go. <laughs> <laughs> we need to clarify this later on, I think. Right, so, what's yours? No, I, yeah, what's yours? What? I think my guilty pleasure would be like a full fry up, like a full English breakfast. But I just absolutely love it on a Saturday morning or a bacon sandwich. Um, Sheila says crisp sandwiches are amazing. Should I tell you what my breakfast will make you go, Ugh. my guilty pleasure is um, warm Brussels sprouts with mayonnaise. Oh, Brussels that sprouts my... mayonnaise. Yeah. They're my favourite vegetable Brussels sprouts. I love them. Really? Oh, I, oh, I could sit and eat a bowl of them with a fork. Me too. Like a bag of crisps. Yeah, I so, love them. Yeah. Love, I'm love, love. Obsessed. Oh, God, I'm covered in crumbs too. <laughs> um, right, so quick update on Club Highlight, everybody. Wow. Over 5,000 wow. people have signed That's up. That's amazing. Did you know it was that many? That's more incredible. and more of you every day. But if you want to be first to find out about the deals, double points that we've got coming up, all the exciting things. And do you know what I am so, so excited about is, Sean's now watching, going, oh. Um, <laughs> we have got you spending them as well. You actually, one lady got her whole order for free. That's amazing. Isn't that lovely? That just shows how good that's, it's incredible. That yeah, really I'm nice. super, super excited. So join us, um, make sure that you're part of Club Highlight because that's really exciting. And if you're not there, it's highlightcrafts.com. Then, um, any more questions? Have we had any more disasters? What was your, have you got any more disasters? Any more disasters? I've always got a disaster, haven't I? <laughs> My mum bought a whole new Christmas dinner set for Christmas. Put it on, this was in like the 90s, and had one of those ovens where you heated your plates at the top. The whole thing slid up <gasps> onto the floor. It what the whole? The whole thing. A whole dinner set. Oh my god! <laughs> Sounds like your mum's quite. Um, oh yeah. That's accident fair. prone. I think, that's I, I think that's where I get it from. <laughs> you see, you earlier read one about cats. Oh yeah, we we our cat Sammy, um, bless him, he was obsessed with the Christmas tree, and we put it up, and we came down Christmas morning to no Christmas tree. <laughs> it may as well have been upside down. <laughs> It, we, we used to come in from school and we'd be like, where's Sammy going to go and jump out from the tree and launch himself towards us, wrapped in baubles. We had about 10 battery packs at the bottom of the tree because we couldn't plug them in. <laughs> They'd be all like, right, 10 minutes to turn the tree on because otherwise they'd chew them. Oh, bless him. Do you know, we look forward to hearing all of your lovely Christmas stories. We've got um, a picture from Tanya, so let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. What? Oh, my gosh, you've been busy with Quirky Bird. That's amazing. How exciting is that? Wow. 
Is this with all the like the all the Wonderland collect? Oh, that's yeah. beautiful. Oh, that is lovely. That is absolutely superb. Um, do you know, guys? Keep sending stuff in. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. Email them in because our walls are still bare. We need pictures. And um, yeah, we've got a really, really lovely Christmas, all of us, to look forward to. Yeah. I know lots of people can't have all their family around, but for this year, for the first chance, we've got everybody actually being yeah. able to at least be free to move around Definitely. and i think next year is going to be super super exciting two red robins books coming out in january so super yeah we're gonna be i'm hoping we can get to the end of january we needed becky to be free to be able <laughs> to do stuff you're close aren't you um, can i just say how disappointed i am in this rug <laughs> Was this we, a bottle of wine order? Uh, this is, no, this is the one. It doesn't look too bad. Well, oh, you do you know, crumbs. whoever, <laughs> I'm taking the crumbs. I don't know what you're both talking about. <laughs> oh, God, oh, God that's bad. Um, this rug was supposed to be, you know, look like a piece of um, marble. And it's just, I, A, I thought it was going to be bigger, and it's so thin. From the top, it looks like we've all got our feet dipped into a little hot tub, a little paddling pool. <laughs> oh, it does, That's doesn't nice. it? Right, we're going to say goodbye to you all. You can see my slippers, look. <laughs> um, going to say goodbye to you all. Wish you all a very, very, very Merry Christmas. Yes, have a Anybody you Christmas. want to say a special Christmas message to? To all my family, have a fabulous Christmas, and to everyone as well, have a beautiful time and enjoy it and do something for you. Yeah, that's it. Becky, what about you? Yeah, just Merry Christmas to all, all my family as well. I've told them that, told them that I didn't want them to watch, but I'm sure that they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, Andrew, would you like to? He says bar humbug. Oh, oh. they the Christmas music off the other day. I couldn't believe it. Oh, <laughs> he said. He's, oh, he he says he says you're fibbing. <laughs> Not fibbing. Right. Um, I'm going to say goodbye to you as well, everybody. We will see you from either our Facebook Lives, our web shows, or yeah. our Create and Craft shows. Last Monday in January, we're going to do the next one of these. So keep emailing in, and I'm sure there'll be more to share. Yes. And also, um, don't forget, we've got the lovely... Hannah, who is now Hannah Stone, yes. and is, she's going to be joining us. So we've got that to look forward to as well. But from all of us here, the team, and to all of you, a very, very Merry Christmas. And we will see you all soon. Enjoy your sausage rolls. I'm going to go and warm one up. <laughs> I'm not going to get it everywhere. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye.